welcome back to my channel welcome 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 it feels great to be back again today how have you been are you happy to see me i'm happy to be here okay so don't forget subscribe and hit the notification bell so that when i have new videos you would be notified and um, i would appreciate your comments and keep the emails um coming in like i received tons of emails uh, that's even one of the reasons why this video is up now keep the emails coming in and um, i appreciate the fact that you could um, come into my inbox to ask me um questions i am encouraged i keep um doing the content for you and for me as well i just wanted to know that in as much as i give tips i take to the tips as well like it's just a way to help others while i'm helping myself thank you so much i appreciate your encouragement okay so let's go right into today's topic so i've um i received like three emails asking me what they can do when business is slow yes it's true in this business journey being an entrepreneur there will be days that the business would be really why are really people not coming to me why are they not asking for my services why are they not buying from me i can tell you there will be days like that so you're not in this alone it happens to any business owner if, if it does not happen then some top brands would not be advertising but they are advertising to create more awareness like we are still here no matter how big you think they are you see them on billboards you see them on tvs you see them on um all social media trying to advertise that means no matter how big how small you are you want to sell you want to remain relevant you want to be on top of your game so whatever it is you are going through in your business journey i just wanted to know you are not going through that alone and be mindful of the fact that even the big business that you think they are on top they are going through that as well so in answering this question the first thing i want you to consider is um the reason why you start the business in the first place why did you decide this particular line of business why do you decide to sell air accessories why do you decide why did you decide to sell um food or go into catering or why did you decide to be an mc if you are into rendering services or why did you decide to be a graphic artist you know the first thing you need to sit down and um, remember is why you went into the business so that you would not give in to frustration that's why i tell people if you're going into business there should be a key reason why you are in the business aside from the fact that yes you have a passion you have the knowledge you have the interest there should be that but this particular right. reason i am in this business that's why i tell people when you are writing your business plan the reason should not be exempted it should be like written out in bold letters so that whenever you pick your business plan you see that drive that oh this is why i am here and this is why i will not give up okay so that's done evaluate yourself in this business journey on the scale of one to ten one being very low and um, 10 being very high at what point in time was your business doing very successful how high that's the first thing you need to evaluate okay so that is done when you experience this i um season what did you do how did you do it how did you arrive at that those are things you need to check. You probably need to revisit what you did then and try to be better at it. That could even make you scale very, very high. All right. So in the process of this evaluation, you'll be motivated because it is your business you're trying to get a solution to. You will be motivated. I can tell you that. Then after this, you might want to try is I'm reaching out to the network of people in your business that's why i tell people when you're in a um, business you should have a network of people in your industry that you interact with you could be it could be on facebook it could even be 
a physical um, location, maybe you old meeting weekly or you old monthly um, meeting, try to see them, those that, that you think are successful in the business, speak to them or invite them out for lunch. Tell them you want to speak about your business. I don't see anyone that you would call upon if they are free and they could spare you time and you tell them you want to talk about business that they would not agree to it and once you sit down at that um lunch date or dinner date don't go all about whining and um mourning about a failed business no what you need is resources on how to improve just let them know what you need or what you're going through and please ask them questions for anybody to have given you that that opportunity to sit at the round table with please don't let that opportunity slip away ask them question okay don't be timid don't hold back as much as you want to remain private because it's your business you really don't want to divulge all your information but please ask questions that can help you you know what you need in your business you know what you're experiencing so please ask questions okay then the other thing that you can do maybe it's just a season for you to relax take a break off your business and um try to listen to people around you you could even talk to your employee if it's a um, business that has and um, talk to them and like okay what do you think we can do uh, that's why i say i tell um, business owners you are not an island and you do not know all You'll be surprised at what your um, em employee can come up with. It could be something that would help your business. So don't see them as um, not able to contribute. Ask them questions when you have your regular meetings. What, what do you think we can do? How can we improve? And um, whatever it is they tell you, take it to board. If it's something that would um, benefit your business, why won't you try it? Okay. Then another thing that you can do when you don't feel motivated in your business is um, start to plan customer appreciation session. You can give out free um, services, free consultation. And who says that this cannot even yield money? If you render services like you build website, you can just call up on your customer and say, oh, I think your, cost, your, your website needs a, a, a restructuring when can i come in to do that for you or can i i can do that and um i will tell you when i launch it you know you've not asked for anything you've not asked for them to pay so uh, in the process of um trying to review the website you could just tell them oh there's this programming that will be useful for this website i would advise you to subscribe to it and uh, because it's free the all services you've rendered it's free the person would not hesitate to pay for that subscription oh really oh thank you so much how much will it cost me and um that is a business for you so there's nothing stopping you from being motivated just look within you look into your business and uh, you come up with something free that you can give your customer and in the process you, you, they are delighted and they would stick to you season that seems like your business is low because i tell you it is just a season that would pass the other thing that you can do is um, try to look for courses that you can do online. There are a lot of free courses. And if you are rich enough, yeah, you can pay for the courses. It's something that would help your business. Go in for courses. And if there are no networks around you, you can start a network that is related to your business. But I would advise the sole reason why you are going into this network should not be for your own gain. You should not see it as an avenue to gain, but rather see it as an avenue to help people. So if you are facing a downtime in your business, maybe it's just time for you to reach out more to people. It could be a time that you should help people, give them um, lectures on your own lesson of um, business growth. They are probably waiting for someone that can help them in their own business when you are still complaining that your own business is not growing some have not even started at all so maybe it's just that season for you to reach out to people help them in their business growth and um stay relevant okay don't give in to the pressure of um stopping the business 
don't um be frustrated you are not the only one going through it it is a season for you to be helpful it's a season for you to be resourceful it's a season for you to look beyond your limit okay so whatever it is you are going through in your business know that it is just a season that would pass thank you so much for listening to me today i appreciate the time and um please keep the emails coming in it's a motivation for me as well yeah we all need to be motivated we all have um that passion to help so please send in the emails i'm here to help you and um don't forget to subscribe it's the notification button and your comments will really be appreciated thank you bye now until i come again next time bye